I think the goal for us is the same as it always has been and what I think should be for every school which is to grow good people and our community is full of good people and people who work hard and people who um, step up and take on leadership roles. They want what's best. They care for people. They're kind. They're giving. In our school system we see students coming from these families and they're a chip off the block. Uh, they're good people when, when we get them and we as a staff here in the district make connections with them purposely and foster that and we want to see good sportsmanship on the field. We want to see kindness. We want to see them working hard to reach their goals and their fullest potential once they leave here. There was a banner that hung there that said, leaders are made here. And when I was the principal in the building down there, I noticed the sign and thought, that's really cool because that's really what we're trying to do is grow leaders here. Success is defined, I think, in many different ways. A lot of it depends on who you're talking to. Um, I think as teachers we have to work with our students to find out what success means to them and then tailor our program and give them the support that they need to reach their individual goals. We're going to do what we need to do to get it done and done well. Um, our staff is absolutely professional in what they do, um, and they're talented, so we get stuff done. And we have a really good work ethic, and this resonates in our schools as well. Um, our students and our staff work together to achieve the best possible education. And it's a roller coaster. There's challenge after challenge after challenge. Just when you think you got things figured out for a little while, something changes. A mill closes. You know, the funding for schools goes away. All these things keep changing and we've always been able to keep moving. And, you know, we've been able to put together an education that has been second to none. You know, our kids have gone anywhere they needed to go when they graduated because they had what was necessary. Um, and that's just entirely because of the perseverance of the staff and the people within the city. Leadership, I think, is providing students with opportunities, um, various opportunities, so that they don't have to follow just one path. It's not just preaching what good leadership is or how you're supposed to act, it's demonstration. So it's what you do in the classroom, in the school system, like walking around the building, it's how you hold and present yourself. And in the school system or even outside in the community, goes a long way for leadership. I think it's making them realize that they can accomplish things. I mean, whether it's a simple homework assignment or passing a test they never thought they could. Because um, if you can accomplish stuff or know you can accomplish stuff and develop the confidence, because leaders need confidence, I think the confidence piece is huge. Um, so, you know, if somebody is a little uncertain, maybe has some anxiousness or anxiety towards everyday life, but if you can break through those barriers and build that self-esteem and confidence, and that, that could go a long way to teaching leadership qualities, even indirectly. The one thing that everybody has in common is everybody will grow. By creating that connection with them and finding where they're at, then you move them forward. It's the growth and it's the progress. What I tell my students often, it's not what you get when you reach your goal that matters a lot, but it's who you become by achieving them. So it's that journey. Some of the students are um, in service industries. There's nurses, so they take care of me at the doctor's office. Um, you know, and a lot of those students, um, I'm proud to now call my friends. Um, because they're good people. 